Hello all my YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today on a beautiful day outside, I would like to talk to you about the old e-machine desktop computer. How does it work with Windows 10? Well, it seems to work perfectly fine, but the only couple issues I had uh, with it was the video drivers don't work that good. Uh, definitely if you're trying to play any type of uh, YouTube videos. But the one thing I would like to do with it is to put a video card in it, but I don't know which uh, video card to put inside of it to get uh, the better uh, HD uh, graphics and HD uh, video content. Now, of course, it's not going to be able to play games or anything. It's a very old system, but I think it's a good computer to try to run a new operating system on a very old hardware computer. But let's go inside and show you the old computer on running Windows 10. Now it's time to boot up the old uh, desktop computer. What operating system do we have on it? Windows 7 or Windows 10? Let's find out and let's start the old uh, beast up here. Now, what do I think about Windows 10? Well, Windows 10 is okay. It's not the greatest, but I think it will be doable for most people. But I prefer uh, Windows 7 over Windows 10. But, there you go, that's the Windows 10 uh, logo. But, a couple of things you want to do be careful if you decide to clean your C drive or C cleaner. Don't lock your computer because you would be stuck with a, like a boot loop uh, issue. But, it's going to load eventually here. It takes a while. It's slow. But, this is just an old machine. And I'm going to show you the specs and stuff as well uh, on this uh, old desktop. Well, I'm gonna let this thing decide to boot and I'm not gonna bore you. Hopefully it's gonna do something now. Well, there is the uh, lock screen of the old desktop's uh, Windows 10 operating system. It is now 3.35 in the afternoon, a Sunday, May 8th. 2016. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing to log in here. Uh, I may have to put my diddly passcode in for the first time on this old machine, but it happens. Takes me a while to figure out what passcode I put on here. Let's go ahead and uh, log in here. Sometimes you can actually change your passcodes if you choose to use a different passcode. Sadly, with uh, Windows, it's so weird. I don't know what the problem is. Is you want to change the passcode, but if you change the passcode, it might change it to something else. But there you go. This is a Windows 10 operating system, and see. This is uh, the system itself, just a basic computer, doesn't have a webcam or anything like that. I don't have a Cortana set up because it doesn't have a microphone or anything like that. Let's go ahead and show you the specs and to show you the computer. Before I show you the specs of this computer, I'm going to tell you on how many operating systems I changed on this computer in a couple years. It was originally a Windows Vista computer, a Windows 7 computer, and now a Windows 10 computer. But uh, the interesting bit is it's only running 64-bit. Originally it was designed to run the 2-bit operating system. But it seems to be pretty stable and also trying to play any type of video content doesn't always work the best way on this old computer. I'm going to show you what it is. There's the processor. It's only a two core processor. Very stable for an old system. And of course, 
running Windows 10 Home. This is a old, old desktop machine. This is the E machine. I call it the old, old computer, but I really do like this old computer, and it's running Windows 10 perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and try to play a YouTube video, and you will see how badly it doesn't play good video at all. I think I'm crazy. No, I'm not. I'm telling you right now. This computer will not play HD videos because it's so old because of the video called what's in it has been disabled from uh, when I installed Windows 10. And literally, it is a legit copy of Windows 10. I did download it from Microsoft itself. Everything is certified, everything's licensed, and everything works perfectly fine. The only way I had to do it was to reinstall it, uh, put Windows 7 on, and do it uh, with Windows 10. And I think it runs pretty good. Let's show you what the problem is. Alright, it doesn't matter what video I go to, I can go even to one of my videos or to anybody else's videos. But it seems okay so far, but it seems to be a little choppy. It literally would be choppy every time I would play a, any type of HD content video on this computer. It would normally be pixelated, but it seems to work alright. But the way to fix it is I'm going to try to change the uh, format here and show you what the problem really is. Let me put it at 720p and see if that's going to do anything. So you can see how slow it is. It's just like, nope, not going to play. Now, this is 1080p content. Okay, are you curious? Let's go and just play the video and show you the problem. You can see it's pretty slow here. Okay, it doesn't really catch up with the computer. And yes, I can change the resolution of the actual video itself but this computer doesn't play good content on HD there's the different settings you can also choose sadly like I said this computer is just so old and it won't play HD uh, video this was actually a video I done yesterday of me talking about my old HP uh, computer here about the motherboard having some issues and stuff like that But yeah, this is a good computer for surfing the web and stuff and uh, doing all and stuff And it's just not designed to play HD video Doesn't matter what video I watch on YouTube uh, Windows 10 is okay All right, let's go ahead and go outside Well what do I think about uh, Windows 10? Well, I think it's an okay operating system for most people, but it's not okay for some because it's very really confusing to figure out where you can find things now. But you know what? It's okay. I can't believe the old desktop can actually run a new operating system because of how old the computer really is. But it's such a nice day today out here. Awesome. But alright, if you guys are doing this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below on what type of video card should I use in the old desktop computer. Please like, please share, peace out, bye guys and girls. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. Bye for right now, from your boy Chris.